In this video, I'm going to talk about PPDU Guard. What is PPDU Guard, how it works, and how to configure it. So I have a topology here that I, I created. So uh, I have I have two workstations. One is PC and one is laptop. And I've got a multi-layer switch. Um, yeah. Oops. So let's see if we can ping uh, laptop the laptop from. Uh, PC so 10.1 10.10.10.2 I can ping it and of course I tested this before you know I decided to record this video well, let's ping PC0 I can ping it also so let's check out the configuration of the switch. So I'm going to do show IP interface brief just to check out the just to check the <coughs> interfaces. So as you can see, um, I'm using gig zero gig one slash zero slash one going to PC0 and gig 1 slash 0 slash 2 going to the laptop so I <clears throat> I just so this is about PPDU guard so uh, let's let's check the configuration of uh, of these interfaces so show run so uh, gig one zero one is going to the PC. So that is the configuration. So uh, port fast is enabled and PPD guard is enabled as well. And uh, gig one zero one slash zero slash two uh, Spanish tree port fast is enabled in that port and as well as BPDU uh, guard so I've got a note here BPDU guard a spanning tree feature that um, detects a when a uh, spanning tree bridge protocol data unit is received on that port on a port configured for a uh, STP port fast and uh, BPDU guard puts that uh, port into an error disabled state and this is how you configure it um, globally so it's zero I mean spanning tree port fast BPDU default and Per interface, uh, I mean, you can also configure it on um, per interface basis. So, uh, spanning tree BPDU BPDU guard enabled. So, of course, when you put no in front in front of the command, it, you disable it. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> let's uh, go back to the configuration of the switch. So let's just check uh, it's you know what it is and how how it works. So let's read the description again. So a spanning tree feature that attacks a spanning tree bridge protocol unit when I mean a spanning tree feature that attacks when is when a spanning tree BPDU is received on a port configured for STP port fast and puts that port 
into an error disabled state. So, um, as you know, uh, or I mean, you may not know this, but let me explain it. Um, if you configure, I mean, if you are planning to a, connect a host, for example, a PC to a switch port, and you don't expect to connect a switch to that port in the in the future, and then you have to. Uh, it's um, recommended that you configure that port uh, with a port fast, right? With a spanning three port fast. So let's check uh, gig zero. I mean gig one slash zero slash one. So spanning three port fast is. Uh, is enabled on that port and uh, gigabit Ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 2 is all um, port fast is also enabled on that port <clears throat> so <clears throat> you can configure BPDU on these kind of ports like I said that connects to uh, that connect to the hosts so in this case in this case, uh, BPDU guards is enabled on, on both ports. So let's see if this, if uh, let's try to demonstrate to, I mean, let's try to send BPDUs uh, on, on one of these ports. So let's try to, I'm gonna try to delete this, uh, this link here. And I'm gonna try to <clears throat> connect this port to another switch, which, of course, this switch one is gonna send a BPD a BPDU message because uh, switches communicate with each other using BPDUs, right? So let's check out uh, switch multi-layer switch two now. As you can see, uh, port z a gigabit one slash zero slash two has been put into uh, error disabled state. So let's read the message here. So span entry to black BPDU. So receive BPDU on port uh, one slash zero slash two with BPDU guard uh, enabled. So disabling the port. So error disabled detected on one slash zero slash two, putting that port into error disabled state. <clears throat> Change to administratively down. So when we, if we check that port, it's actually administratively down. Let's try to use another different command. Um, you can actually use this command. I'm not sure if this. No, it's not supported in supported in this uh, on this uh, switch. So as you can see, this port is in error disabled status. So how you, so how are you gonna uh, resolve that issue? You're gonna actually resolve that issue by bouncing the port, meaning that you have to uh, gig to no shot and shut that port. I mean, shut that shut and no shut that port. So I'm gonna shut it and no shut it. But it's actually gonna put that uh, port again into uh, an error disabled state because, <clears throat> uh, like I said earlier, that port doesn't expect to receive BPDUs, BPDU messages. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually uh, uh, connect that switch to the PC the original uh, connection and 
I'm gonna go to that port again. Let's check the config. The oh, it's actually down again because it is now in error disabled state. So you status. Oops. Okay, so I'm gonna shut and no shut it or bounce it. So shut, no shut. This will resolve this will resolve the issue. So I'm gonna save the config. Let's check again. Now it's up up. <clears throat> so let's see if the PC and laptop can ping each other again. To make sure that there's no problem, right? Okay, yeah, it can ping each other again, so meaning that there's no problem in the network. So that's it in this video. Uh, <clears throat> so that's how BPDU works, and that's how that's what BPDU guide is, how it works, and how to configure it. So, yep, thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye.